High Seas Trader is a commerce simulation game from 1995 by Impressions Games. The game starts smoothly. You pick one of the main superpower of the world of the 17th century as the banner you will fly. Outside of changing your home port and dictating which ports you can enter, this has little impact on the gameplay. During your voyage, your own country may enter in wars with competing powers, which will disallow you to enter these sports, and while in theory this could jeopardize you greatly if you run out of rum while at sea, there are very little places on this planet that is not occupied by multiples or neutral powers. But once set, you are free in the street of your own port and allowed to start your trading quest. You have to take the great risk of going onto the IC to complete lucrative trade all across the world. The game is not the most difficult around. The trading system is straightforward as buying at a port and selling iron at another. And the game even tells you how much it costs you so you don't even need a working brain to figure out the trades. And that's good because the last thing I want in a monotone game is to use my brain. You plot your route and set sail across the ocean to trade your goods. All good until you meet pirates. Arr, goddamn pirates are annoying in this game. They will relentlessly hunt you down and the naval combat is subpar. You have cannons on your ships to knock them down and aiming is somewhat easy once you line up the middle of the screen but the enjoyment is minimal and the amount of pirates present makes it a burden. The ship you have can also be upgraded as a whole ship or simply changing the cannons for more powerful one. You're required to outfit the required supplies for your sea travels if you'd rather not end up pushed out of the plank by your disgruntled sailors. Sailors whom you'll need to hire around the world in diverse taverns and whom you can boost moral by offering free nights of drinking and debauchery in these aforementioned taverns. Life at sea is so simple after all. So simple that it actually becomes a tremendous task because we have pretty much covered everything here. You're limited to single ship and a single crew, definitely not something to encourage you to grow and expel your empire of trade. You do have some objective to attain eventually in the game while playing, but these are somewhat tricky. First you'll need to fill up arbitrary defined values such as honor, noble and very, and these will allow you to climb up the ladder ranks and granting you new titles which grant access to bigger ships and bigger estates. And during your travel you will also encounter some random sellers who will sell you some great artifacts that will be needed in order to increase your standings. And this go on as you start from a peddler to a journeyman to a tradesman to a merchant to a master merchant and finally you end the game as a viscount. It seems straightforward but the difficulty arises that every time you level up you have to start from nothing again except your ship which is most definitely not encouraging you to keep on playing as some of the requirements are actually pretty brutal to acquire during regular gameplay where you do not focus especially on these. But graphically speaking, this title is incredible. The ships are nice looking, and yes, even with that extra pixel floating over, and cities are beautiful and varied depending on their location. This game is an artistic piece of art. Well, until you get to the screens you'll be staring for hours. The autopilot screen is bland shit-stained paper that is static, and the trade windows are as inspiring as Microsoft Excel. The estate you can build are also nicely gold-plated. <laughs> what the fuck? The music though, just like the art style, blends well with the local cultures of the port you visit and is in all very soothing for most parts. No complaint at that level with me, but not something I will remember at all. There's also speech in this title. Well, there should be voice acting, apparently, 
but the diskette version I have did not hold this and I could not find a CD-ROM ISO copy anywhere nor anyone actually posting the voice clips anywhere as it stands for the voices themselves. We only have the claims from some random forum users. High Sea Traders is a robust title from the time period we did not have any 3DC merchant game readily available so it did create its own small niche. But the limitation of the game as to where you will go greatly reduced the reach it could have gained. Its complexity from the get go also kills off some initial drive that most players could have and its lack of expandability and increasing your company to multiple ships and multiple ports also enters the likeness of this game. But it's still a pretty decent title and is easily found online nowadays so it can give you a good glimpse of what it was being a sea trader in 1995. Hopefully you've enjoyed this title and if you did make sure to drop a subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.